Hey everybody, welcome to CR IT Designers. This is Chetan. And in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create hard surface mechanical design. So without further ado, let's get started. We will use this cube to make a design. So just go to the edit mode, select these edges, and then Ctrl B, and then add a bevel at there. Add a four segment bevel at there. After that, you need to rotate this cube into the 90 degree. Then you need to use the knife tool, and you need to create a slant cut as like this. Then you need to select this face loop and then delete these faces. Then select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Then you need to apply the rotation on the model. So Ctrl A and then apply the rotation. Then you can select everything, mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the X axis. Then select these faces and then use the insert operation add there. Now you need to add few more loop cuts on the model to increase the topology on the model. Then you can select this face, use the insert operation and then use the loop tool circle option. Then you need to turn on the individual origin and then adjust the scale. After that just add few more loop cuts, these are the supporting loop cuts to maintain the good form on the model. Then select the circular faces and then delete them. Then you can add few more loop cuts on the model. Select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop to fill the gap. If the bridge edge loop not work, then you can select the edges and then press F to fill the gap. Then you can select this edge loop and then use the loop tool circle option. Now you need to use the double tap G for the edge slide. Then you can dissolve these edge loops and you can add a new edge loops at there. Then just select everything and mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry along the X axis. After that you need to select the faces with the shift select and you need to increase the selection with the control plus. Make sure you select the proper position for the faces. Then use the insert operation and then loop to circle option. And then press Ctrl X to dissolve the edges. Then use the insert operation add there. And now select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then select these faces with the help of extra mode. And then delete these faces. Then select these words and move them and give the right position to these words. Then you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. And you can add few more loop cuts at here and just try to fill the gaps. Then you can take the symmetry along the X axis and then Z axis. Now you need to add the sub D modifier on the model. Add supportive loop cuts on the model to maintain that structure. Don't need to worry about the circular cylindrical form of the model. We will manage that. Here you need to try to create the proper loop structure to maintain that form. So that's why I just create that loop structure as like this. Then you can select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry. And then you can dissolve these edges. Now you can see we have got that loop structure. Now here we need to merge the words. So select these words and press M and merge at last. And same thing you need to do at here also. Then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. And now you can take the symmetry along the X axis. And then increase the sub D count up to 2. And now just you need to work on this model little bit. Just select this edge loop and then Ctrl X to dissolve this. Then select this face loop and then scale them along the X axis. As like this. And then press I for the insert operation. Then add a loop cut and then use the loop tool circle option. And then you can take the symmetry along the X and Z axis. And you will get this kind of decent looking design. Now just we need to create few more boolean details. So just select these faces and then delete these faces. 
and then you can select this edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop to fill the gap. You need to repeat this step for remaining boolean details. And then you can select this face loops and then press I for the insert operation. Use the small insert operation and then you can add a few more loop cuts in that boolean details to maintain that smooth shading. And now you can see we got a decent looking model at here. Just rotate it into the 90 degree. So in this way you can create this kind of hard surface model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.